Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman. Here with me today is the assassin, Case Cornelesa. Case, I think we have a great match today on our hands. Yeah, I think uh, this is going to be a good match. I've seen uh, a video, I've seen some uh, talk about this match. This uh, ought to be good. Even though you uh, called me uh, last second, like, uh, oh, you need to uh, co-host this match with me. But, you know, I have time, so let's do this. Perfect. Yes, originally Harvey was supposed to do this with me, but due to some time zone confusion, uh, you know, that's what happens when you're trying to coordinate between four different countries and three different continents. It happens. It's all good. But let's meet our competitors today. Up to bat first, with arguably the greatest smack talk video I've ever seen in my life, we have the Doctor, Adam Schultz. Adam, how you doing, man? I'm going good, mate. Going good. <laughs> he even said mate. That's beautiful. <laughs> and his opponent, we have Atomic, Ed Sale. Ed, how do you think this match is going to go for you? Uh, I, I mean, it's going pretty well, you know. I've, I've had my morning cup of tea, you know. I'm, I'm good. I'm ready. Sounds great. We are just rolling in the stereotypes today. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Showdown. Introducing first, representing the Time Lords of Gallifrey, give it up for the Doctor, Adam Schultz, and his opponent, Representing all life surviving after World War III, give it up for Atomic Ed Sale! Let's do this. So round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions in four predetermined categories in sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing. Adam, because you are currently the favorite going in, would you like to go first or second? I will go second, thank you. Sounds good. And Ed, would you like to receive from Category 1 or Category 2? Category 2. Okay. Case, I will have you ask the questions to Ed in this round, and I will ask the Doctor. Okay, so, Ed, we're going to start off with your first question in the category of sci-fi. Sean Bean surprisingly doesn't die in The Martian. What other 2015 sci-fi film doesn't he die in? Jupiter Ascending. That is correct. Alright. For your second question in the category of drama. In American History X, two of the main characters are played by actors with the first name Edward. What are the last names of both actors? Okay, Norton and five, four, three, two. I don't know. One. Okay, it was Furlong. Okay, Eddie Furlong from E2. Yes, and now uh, Chris is going to ask Adam for his first two questions. All right, Adam. All righty. I category. knew those two answers, so I might know none of these. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> In the category of sci-fi, what is the name of the robots that chase and try to kill the Nebuchadnezzar in The Matrix? <sighs> um, what are the robots called? That try to, that try, to, uh, try to destroy the Nebuchadnezzar, the ship. I forget what the damn things are called. Five, uh, four, no, I've got nothing. Three. Nothing. All right. I'm sorry. I was looking for Sentinels. <sighs> yes. That was X Men. What? Yeah. What a stupid, that, forgettable name dude. that is. Right. <laughs> All right. For your next question, under the category of drama, who wrote and directed 2013's Her? Uh, Spike Jones. That is correct. For one point, tie game. We take it back over to Case. Okay, Ed, for your third question in the category of comedy, Southerner Melanie has to return to her home to finalize her divorce from Jake so she can marry Andrew in which film? That's like a wild journey. I have no idea. 
five, four, three, two, Sounds like can just one. Go nothing. Okay, uh, it's uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Of course it is. And for your last question in the category of animated, which animated Adam Sandler comedy takes place during Hanukkah and features him playing the main character as well as the old couple he lives with? Uh, I only know one Adam Sandler animated film, so I'm going to have to go with Hotel Transylvania. That is incorrect. We were looking for Eight Crazy Nights. Okay. All right. Chris? All right. No worries, no worries. Adam, coming back over to you in the, in the category of comedy. What item belonging to John C. Riley does Will Ferrell teabag, causing them to fight in Step Brothers? Uh, uh, drum set. That is correct. For one point. For your final question in round one, under the category of animated, who plays the title role in Arthur Christmas? Oh. Um. Arthur oh, Christmas. I haven't seen that movie in years. Plays the title role. Uh. Bye. Or Matt LeBlanc. Oh, no. That is incorrect. I was looking for Professor X himself, James McAvoy. Oh, okay. It's all good, man. All right, now, finishing round one, the score is two to one with Adam in the lead. Here we go for round two. And it's going to go as such. Each competitor will choose a number between one and six, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second category if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, though multiple choice is available for one point. And there is stealing in this round. Adam, would you like to go first or second? Uh, second. I'll defer again. All right. Ed, you can't, the categories in this round are Star Wars, Sports, Marvel, biopics, horror, and 80s. Pick a number between one and six. Uh, can I have four, please? You have selected sports. Would you like to stick with it, or would you like to choose a different one? Um, I'm going to go with two. And this is one you have to pick. Case will read you the questions for Marvel. Yes. Okay, you have selected Marvel movies. So... For your first question, who played Vampire Deacon Frost in the first Blade film? Okay, your options are A. Ryan Reynolds, B. Stephen Dorff, C. Dominic Purcell, or D. Norman Reedus? Uh, B. That is correct, for one point. Alright. For your second question in the category of Marvel, in The Punisher, Frank Castle's fa entire family is murdered, including his father, played by whom? Uh, multiple choice, please. The options are A. John Travolta, B. Will Patton, C. Roy Scheider, or D. Ben Foster. John Travolta. That is incorrect. Adam, do you want to steal? Uh, could you repeat the options again, please? A is John Travolta, B is Will Patton, C is Roy Scheider, or D is Ben Foster. I'll go with C. That is correct, but still. Okay. Ed, for your third question in the category of Marvel, what is the name of Ronan's android help that Drax kills at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy? Multiple choice. Okay, your answers are A. Nebula, B. Korath, C. Broker, or D. Necro. Korath. That is correct. One point. Okay, in your last question in the category of Marvel. In 2002 Spider Man, Green Goblin attacks New York City during which event? 
multiple choice, please. Okay, your options are A, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, B, Columbus Day, C, the World Unity Fair, or D, the 4th of July. It's the uh, Thanksgiving Parade. That is incorrect. Adam, do you want to steal? Uh, it was C. That is correct. No. Okay, and now we're going to get the word over to Fritz. Now that you're in the lead, let's see how much further you can push this. Pick your uh, number between one and six, and two is off the table. I will take three. You have selected biopics. Do you want to stick with it, or do you want to try it for a different one? I'll try again. All right. Go with six. You have selected horror, and this one you must stick with. Oh, it's the only one that was worse. Oh, well. Well, we'll see how you do it. For your first question, the category of horror. In Event Horizon, Lawrence Fishburne is the captain of what ship? Multiple choice. Your options are A, the Enterprise, B, the Event Horizon, C, the Lewis and Clark, or D, the Discovery. Never seen the movie. I'll guess B. That is incorrect. Ed, a chance to steal? Can you repeat the options, please? I can. Your options are A, the Enterprise, B, the Event Horizon, C, the Lewis and Clark, or D, the Discovery. C. That is correct. Adam got a couple points off you, but looks like you're coming back on him. For your second question, Adam, under the category of horror, who plays Emilio Estevez's douchebag boss in Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive? Multiple choice. Okay. Your options are A, Stephen King, B, Pat Hingle, C, Barry Bell, or D, Frankie Faison. Pat Hingle? That is correct. <sighs> Nicely done. Yes, before he was Commissioner Gordon, he was getting shot up by evil trucks. <laughs> I live in a universe where that happened. All right, for your third question, what kind of scientific breakthrough was Jeff Goldblum working on before a fly tampered in his work in The Fly? Oh, um, teleportation. That is correct for two points. Well done, sir. And for your final question in the category of horror, what is the nickname given to Ray Fiennes' Francis Dollarhide in Red Dragon? Ooh, uh, never seen that multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Santa Claus, B, the Easter Bunny, C, the Sandman, or D, the Tooth Fairy. Santa Claus? That is incorrect. Add chance to steal. Uh, D. That is correct. He was known as the Tooth Fairy. All right, coming out of round two, the score is seven to five. Adam is in the lead. But Ed has every chance to come back. Could have been worse. I've not seen any of those horror movies. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> All right. So round three is going to go like this. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, they will receive five points. If they need two more keywords, the total possible goes down to three points. If one last keyword is needed... The total possible is one point, and there is no stealing. Adam, because you're in the lead, I'll give you the option of picking either movie number one or movie number two. Movie number two, thank you. All right, sounds good. And Case, I will have you proctor to Mr. Ed Sale for movie number one. Okay, Ed, movie number one. The year is 1991. The genre is crime drama thriller and the keywords the first three are mind game fbi agent and psychopath is it point break that is incorrect it's uh, silence of the lambs actually your other keywords would be kidnapping transvestite and cannibalism threw me off with fbi agent now, this is where it gets interesting. Adam is currently ahead by two points. If he nails either the five or the three-pointer of his film, he will win by technical knockout because Ed missed his question. Uh, no pressure. No pressure. 
All right, Adam. Your yes. year is 1994. Your genre, okay. crime and drama. Your keywords are diner, multiple storyline, and torture. Uh, that would be Pulp Fiction. And your winner! <laughs> by Technical Knockout, Adam the Doctor Show! Holy crap. 12 one. Great match, gentlemen. Oh, can't believe I got... I've not got one of those... Playing along, I've not ever got one of those IMDb rounds, so I'm quite pleased with myself here. 1994, multiple story. Could it be easier? <laughs> yeah. Hey, to be fair, same can be said for yours, Ed. Just yeah, yeah, same. yeah. <laughs> But no, I mean, in all seriousness, uh, gentlemen, both of you, uh, congratulations on just having your first match. Now, trying to set up for the tournament, I had a crazy idea. Uh, Adam, just like Case and Jono before you, you've had one hell of a debut. But because Case has another match coming up and Jono is looking for one, what do you say to uh, maybe taking him on? I'm, I'm keen as if he is. I'm, I'm happy to go forward with that. All right, that will be one titan of a match, I can promise you that. Ed, I wish I could tell you you came out on top. However, do not be discouraged because you still put up a great fight. Is there somebody else in the league you want to take on, by chance? I don't know, I'll look for someone else who's 0-1, and I'd like to get back into it. I'll, I'll, I'll do some research and then challenge someone in the coming days. Sounds great to hear, man. Well, Case, thoughts on this match before we close out? Well, um, it's uh, very much clear that Adam is a great competitor. I mean, he equaled my uh, points uh, that I got in my first match, and he did it in three rounds. I had four rounds for that, so it's really impressive what uh, Adam did here today. I think Ed did uh, very well as well. It's like he had a little bit of bad luck in his, um, in his categories and questions, but... I think he can also be a good competitor, so i just like to see both of these guys again in another match, uh, as I think both both here know their stuff about movies. That's going to do it for us today. I am the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker-Doman, and we'll see you at the next match. Take care.